Hi, this is Patrick. In this video, I would like to show you how to deploy an OpenAI service on Azure using Terraform. As a prerequisite, you just need your own Azure subscription and a GitHub account. I also provide a dev container, so this means you don't need to install any of the tools locally on your device. So I hope you have fun with it. Please don't use it in production and use it responsibly. All right, let's get started. Everything I need to deploy this OpenAI service on Azure using Terraform, I've included in my GitHub repository named Terraform Azure Cognitive Deployment. I'm going to open it with Visual Studio Code. Included in the repository, I have a Terraform configuration consisting of three different uh, Terraform files, so main.tf, a Terraform.tf, and a variables.tf. I will do a deep dive on that uh, later on. I have a directory named scripts. Inside, there's a Python script, which I will use to do an, a, uh, an API call to the OpenAI service when it's provisioned. And in addition, that I don't need to install anything on my laptop, I have a develop, development container uh, defined here using the Docker file and the dev container JSON. So all the tools which I need in that case, the Azure CLI, Terraform, Python, and among other things, the requests library. I've here the dedicated uh, statements. So at first, I will now build this dev container yeah, to have the proper environment. Therefore, I click here on the very left on Remote Explorer. Then I'm going to click on Create Code Space. I choose this repository, so Terraform Azure Cognitive Deployment based on the main branch, and I will choose the two cores and eight gigabyte uh, RAM as an instance. Right here on the red uh, lower case, can be seen that it the creation of the development container was started. Here it pops up again. I'm going to click on that to see what's happening. And this takes now a while. All right, my development container is now ready, including Terraform, the Azure CLI, and Python. I can see it when I click again at Remote Explorer. So I'm now working with a development container which is getting hosted as part of a GitHub code space. So my development container, or respectively my, to be more precise, my code space is named Friendly Broccoli. Sounds really nice. I can see it also in addition here. If I click here on code and if, if I switch to code spaces, here the code space is named friendly broccoli and this code space hosts now my development container. I will create a new terminal and now it's about to make a deep dive on the Terraform configuration. All right, so I set up my development container containing all the necessary tools which I need to provision the OpenAI service using Terraform. Uh, but before I do that, I would like to explain my Terraform configuration. It contains three files, the main TF, the Terraform TF, and the variables TF. So the Terraform TF contains, among other things, the Terraform log. And here I've chosen the version creator equal 4.1 uh, for the Azure Resource Manager as a required provider. I have here from line 10 to 14 the provider block. And 
I'm going to switch to the main TF, which is now probably the most uh, interesting file here, um, cons consisting uh, of the Terraform configuration. Here, from line one to four, I've defined a resource group. So this resource group will then contain the other mentioned resources here. So the first one will be the cognitive account, which is defined here from line six to 12. Uh, the cognitive account I need to access respectively to manage uh, different AI services provided by Microsoft. And in that case, I'm interested in a cognitive deployment. So that will be now the uh, OpenAI model, which I would like to have provisioned on my Asia subscription. In my case, it will be a GPT-4. So that about the main TF. I also would like to explain the variables TF. So uh, I don't like, of course, hard-coded uh, values. Therefore, I have for, I think, each uh, value which I could define a variable, so each value which I can set. And there are no default values included here. So if I would now try to provision uh, the resource by uh, conducting the Terraform commands, I would need to provide um, the values in a manual way, but I don't want uh, to do that. Therefore, I will now um, create a so-called terraform.tfwas file. I've defined Oh, I provided an example for that also here in my GitHub uh, repository named Terraform Asia Cognitive Deployment. So I scroll down and here is the example. I copy the content and I will create now a terraform.tfwas file here inside my working space. So terraform.tf was I simply paste now the content and here in line one the subscription ID uh, is missing and I can use all those variables here which then refer to the variables uh, .tf file and which will fill up here all the stuff starting with var uh, to get uh, a very specific deployment. So I will use now this terraform.tfwas files to parameterize my Terraform configuration. I am going to deploy uh, the OpenAI service in the region West Europe. I will have a dedicated name for the uh, cognitive account. Uh, it's from, it's a, from the kind open AI, uh, the SKU name will be S0. I will have a name for the cognitive deployment, open in our AI test West Europe, CD for, yeah, CD cognitive deployment. Uh, it's an open AI. Uh, it's a specific, uh, it's a GPT-4 from the model version. Turbo 2024-04-09, and I will use as a capacity 45, so which refers uh, to the tokens. Um, so this results into the 45,000 tokens. So I'm almost done. What's missing now is that I would need to uh, log in to my Asia subscription and after that I can start with the Terraform commands. So I'm going to log in using the command ac login. I have to hover over this uh, link, click on follow link and as next I have to copy that code. 
right? I'm gonna enter that here, confirm it, and I choose now my account, so Patrick Koch, and I will now log in to my Asia subscription. I should see that here in the logs. Yes, right. I will confirm that in addition by hitting enter. That's it. And now just my Asia subscription is missing. How can I get that? So either I check it inside my the, inside the Asia portal or I type AC account show. The ID will be here in the third line. I will copy that. And I will replace the placeholder string here. Now I'm ready to go. So I will start with Terraform in it, but maybe before that, just to prove that nothing is deployed so far as an AI service here in my Asia subscription. Click here on refresh and no Asia OpenAI to display, but this will change within the next minutes. I will start with the first command, the Terraform init. So I do the initialization to the back end. After that, I will to be to ensure I will type Terraform validate, which Yes, of course, provides me as a result. Success, the configuration is valid. As a third command, I will do now Terraform plan. So my dash out TF plan. So I am going to create now a plan which includes all the actions in that case, uh, which are uh, will be affected after typing the last command, which is Terraform apply. So here in that case, I'm going to add three new resources, nothing to change, nothing to destroy. What I would like to add here is, of course, it's about adding the resource group, the cognitive deployment and the cognitive account. Finally, the last command will be Terraform apply and I refer to my plan, which I've created before. And now the magic happens. At first, the resource group is going to be created. This will be done within a few seconds. As next, the cognitive account will be created. This may take also a while, but not that much. And finally, the cognitive deployment, so the GPT-4 model from type Turbo 2024-04-09 will be created. This should be done fast. And here we go. Apply complete, free resources added. Nothing has changed, has changed. nothing uh, was destroyed. I'm going to verify that. Click here on refresh. And here, my cognitive account, OpenAI Test West Europe was created. From the pricing tier, S, O, I click on it. And I switch here to the Asia OpenAI Studio to check the deployment. So here on the left, I click on deployments. And yes, here you can see my deployment, the OpenAI Test West Europe. CD from the type GPT-4 and the specific model version Turbo 2024-04-09. So I would like to play a bit. I would like to provide some questions to the uh, deployment, so to this uh, service. For that, I prepared in the directory scripts a Python script, which is named send requests. So here I provide uh, questions, I provide content to the uh, OpenAI service using the API. And here at line five and line six, 
I need to fill up those values before. So I need an endpoint URL and an API key. Where I can find that, I click on the deployments. And here we go. Here I have the endpoints. So I copy the content of the URL. Paste it here. And I need the key. Switch back to Visual Studio Code. And it's included. So here, uh, starting at line 14, the payload I define as a context to the uh, service that uh, it should behave as a helpful assistant, of course. And my very first question will be, what is Asia? So for that, I switch now here in the terminal to the directory scripts. Just to ensure that I saved it. And now I call it. If I avoid some typos. So send requests. And here I got my first response to my question. What is Asia? The response is here Asia, also known as Microsoft Asia, is a cloud computing service created by Microsoft for building testing. No, 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 so I don't want to uh, complete that, but so you uh, got the idea. That's now the response to my question What is Asia? Let's check or let's try another question. What are you? Again, I trigger it and I get as a response, I am an AI assistant here to help answer your questions, assist with tasks and provide information on a wide range of topics. How can I assist you today? So that's now fun to play with. I can provide now several other uh, questions and I get uh, Definitely meaningful answers are, uh, of course. And yeah, that's already it. So that's uh, how fast uh, I can deploy an open AI service in that kind. It's about a GPT-4 deployment and how I can uh, get responses by sending uh, questions using the uh, API. If I don't need the service uh, anymore, I will destroy it again. Oh, I will destroy it again using Terraform. And the dedicated command for that is Terraform destroy. Hitting enter to take a while, and I will get as a result all the things which I'm going now to destroy. So it's about the resource group, it's about the cognitive deployment, and it's about the cognitive account. Of course, I will confirm that here by uh, typing yes, confirm again, again, hitting the enter, and now all the resources are going to be destroyed. And that's it in general. I hope that you enjoyed uh, the video. So I've shown in this uh, video how to set up a dedicated development container, which will be hosted inside a GitHub code space, including all the tools which I need to do the provisioning of the OpenAI service on Asia using Terraform and how to get responses by uh, simply uh, trying to get uh, questions to the uh, OpenAI service by using the API. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I would be glad if you hit uh, the thumbs up button, if you provide me a like. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. See you hopefully next time. Goodbye.